let's learn about laravel data tables so it is a laravel package that extends the functionality of jquery data tables that you can find on datatables.net so this data table got server side rendering uh, so what this package does is it makes it easy to implement uh, that server side pagination uh, or server side uh, data tables in laravel uh, you can directly do using this uh, plugin as well but uh, using this package is a lot easier and uh, the code will be more organized all right so let's start by uh, so first i'll install a new laravel application laravel new d table okay new project install let's cd into that open our encode Let's run PHP artisan make auth. All right. Uh, reload uh, nginx so that it will detect the new app, uh, Laravel application. Now let's visit dtable.test. All right. Okay. So in order to test, uh, let's create some data on our database. Like let's fill up user table with some uh, data. So I'll uh, boot up PSP Artisan Tinker and I'll create factory app user. Uh, let's create 100 entries. Okay. All right. So we got uh, 100 records in our table. So let's log in with uh, anyone. Password will be secret. Okay, so uh, first let's try loading in all users here. So let's go to home controller and on index, let's load up. Let's go to home.blade and let's loop through all users and display it here. Alright, so let's use that um, bootstrap for table okay so uh, let's we'll loop through user email user name all right so class imported and yeah we can see this data we can just see this simple table so now let's pull in this data table plugin. Let's go to com uh, terminal and composer require. Okay, so it is installed. So make sure uh, you use this command composer require without a uh, version number. So I tried uh, using this command with version number 8, but it is not satisfiable. So there is new version 8.7. So don't just copy and paste this, just copy and paste this command without this version number. Alright, so once that is installed, uh, I think we don't need to do all this for Laravel 5.6. So first thing we need to add uh, our uh, this data table CDN into our application. So first we need to include this. Let's go to our application and in layout file we'll include that. So layout app dot plate. So if you are uh, in Laravel application, you don't need to include Bootstrap. It is already included in app dot CSS and app dot JS. So what we'll do is we'll just include the uh, data table CSS. Uh, also, data table uh, will include data table JS also. Also, to initialize data table, we just need this call this. And uh, I'll call that on this home dot blade. So I'll create a section for a script. So let's initialize every table with uh, data table for now. Okay, let's go to our application and reload the page. All right, it says jQuery not defined. So what we did is, so we already got um, bootstrap.js jQuery inside this script. So 
we'll cut it from here and paste it here because so we are using this differ this will uh, this will only load after pages all page uh, loaded okay so we want to uh, load this first then this then all the script in this stack so uh, here we, we will initi we'll be initializing this push script and then we are calling the data table on this class okay so at this point we are just using this jquery data plugin we are not uh, pulling this from server side so if we got uh, a lot of data we'll have problems so let's try by, uh, by pushing some more data there so i'll boot up tinker so factory let's, let's load 5000 data Here we need to call the create so it is seeding data and taking some time okay it says duplicate entry but i think it yeah we got 3000 records yeah, that's fine for let's reload and see how much time it takes so it took uh, six seconds 6.29 seconds now let's try using uh, the data table plugin that we just pulled in and try to load that so what that will do is that will just load the first 10 entries and then when we click on this it will load another 10 entries from backend so like that so there will be less load on server because it will be only pulling 10 entries okay so let's go to our home controller and here we are loading all now let's try using this plugin and let's see what we can do all right so this is how our controller should look like so first one will be uh, the loading our view this plate file and another route we will be facing data so let's go to our home controller so index will just show the uh, home view and we'll create another method that will create uh, that will just post the ajax data all right so this will be like return data tables so we can pull in data in couple of ways like by doing data tables of data table eloquent or like this so let's stick with that uh, let's and the model will be user model so user query so we're just building the query and passing it to this so um, according to all required parameter it will fetch the items we don't need to worry about that so now we can get rid of this user from here we just need to load the home view uh, now let's go to home view and uh, now that we don't have access to this user what we can do is let's comment these out uh, we just need to post the head we don't need body uh, let's get rid of the body section and we'll be uh, loading data from here so we need to define some options all right so these are some options processing true server side rendering true and the uh, ajax uh, will be sending for retrieving that uh, you can define this route we'll do in a moment and id will be the name id from backend name email so for now let's skip these two so there are three header here and three data row here okay so next step let's uh, define this data tables you can uh, give any name users dot data let's define this route in web dot psp and i'll give name users dot data now let's go open up console mm, looks like we got some error while using this make sure to import this Ezra uh, data tables class and pass in that so now if we load and let's see load time it says yeah 
so one second so previously it was taking six seconds and yeah it will pull only required data and we can all right do search as well so in next video we'll see the more options that it has to offer